Oxygen Cylinder Formula to calculate the capacity of oxygen cylinder and duration of time. Let's start our presentation. In this presentation, I will explain three different formula to calculate the capacity of oxygen cylinder, and finally, I will explain that for how much time it will work. First formula for calculation of oxygen cylinder capacity, according to Boyle's law, is P1, V1 is equal to P2V2. Normally we can pressurize oxygen cylinder from 1900 PSI up to 2100 PSI. For example, if we have an E-size oxygen cylinder with a pressure of 1900 PSI, then how we can find its volume? Formula, P1, V1, is equal to P2, V2. P1, 1900 PSI, which is the pressure of cylinder. V1, 5.0 liter, it is the internal volume of E-size oxygen cylinder, it is constant. P2, 14.5 PSI, it is the atmospheric pressure. V2, we want to find it. According to the above formula, now we will put these numbers and will find volume 2, rearrange this formula. V2 is equal to P1 multiply by V1 and divide by P2. Now put the values, V2, is equal to P1 which are 1900 PSI, multiply by V1, which are 5 liters divide by atmospheric pressure which are 14.5 PSI. After the calculations, the answer is 655 liters. It is the volume of E-size oxygen cylinder, if we pressurize it for 1900 PSI. Second formula for calculation is gauge pressure, multiply by conversion factor. The conversion factor, for each cylinder is different. But most commonly used cylinder are, E and H cylinder. E cylinder has a conversion factor of, 0.28 and H cylinder has, 3.14. Now if we have an E-size oxygen cylinder with a pressure of 1600 PSI then how much oxygen it will have. Gauge pressure is 1600 and conversion factor for E-size oxygen cylinder is 0.28. According to the above formula, gauge pressure which are 1600 multiply by conversion factor which are 0.28 after the multiplication it give us the answer of 448 liter simply it means if we have an e-size oxygen cylinder with a pressure of 1600 psi it will give us 448 liters of oxygen third formula for calculation is water capacity of cylinder multiply 144 according to this formula First we will find the water capacity of cylinder, which is mentioned by the manufacturer, on the neck of cylinder. The water capacity of E-size cylinder is, 4.7 to 5 liters, and J cylinder 47.2 liters. Now we will calculate E-size cylinder capacity. It is 4.7 multiply by 144 is equal to 676.8 liter. It means, E cylinder has a capacity of 676.8 liters. J cylinder will have 47.2 multiply by 144 is equal to 6796.8 liters. It's all about volume calculations. Now I will calculate the duration of time. Calculation of time. For example if we have an E-size cylinder with a pressure of 1000 PSI, then for how much time it will work if we want to give 2 liter oxygen per minute to a patient. To calculate the duration of time first we need to find the volume of cylinder. For that we will use Boyle's formula or other two, I have explained already. Formula is P1V1 is equal to P2V2. P1 is equal to 1000 PSI. V1 is equal to 5 liters, it is constant for E-size cylinder. 
P2 is equal to 14.5 psi. It is the atmospheric pressure and V2, we want to find it. Now we will put these values in the above formula. Rearrange it. V2 is equal to, V1 multiply by P1 divide by P2. Now put the values and calculate it. V2 is equal to, 5 multiply by 1000, divide by 14.5. Calculate it. You will find the answer, 344 liters. Now it is easy to calculate the duration of time. The volume is, 344 liters, and we need to give, 2 liters per minute. 344 divided by 2, is equal to 172 minutes. If we give 5 liters per minute then, 344 divided by 5 is equal to, 68.8 minutes. It is all about oxygen cylinder to find the volume and duration of time, that for how much time it will work. If anyone, have any questions, they can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching.